So what do they say? They say when the lights come on, the dogs come out, right? Yeah, but, but we try to think of ourselves as lions, man. You you're, know? you're past dogs. Yeah, we think of ourselves as lions. Like, you know, it doesn't matter how deadly a dog is. If you put it in there with a lion, it's mm -hmm. not surviving. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you put it in there in a cage with a lion, it's not surviving. So that's like our mentality. Is like, guess what? When you come in that big house, those doors close, step right into a lion's den. <laughs> In. Come join me. Hell yeah, hey, I got put you. Put your bag in the back. Oh yeah, I got put you. Bag I in got the back. You. I got you. Oh yeah. This uh, we got plenty of space back there. This new? Brand new. Well, I like it. I like See, it. We, I didn't know if you were gonna bring Chris Jenkins or Kenneth Grant or Man, some of the big fellas, but we got enough room for all three back there. Yeah, That's, we, we got really some big do. Fellas there. Exactly. I know you talk about this a lot, and it's a big part of your story. You were born outside of the country, right? Oh, yeah. And you grew up in Haiti. Yeah. I got adopted at nine and a half. I came to uh, Nashville, Tennessee. When I first came to a new environment, when I first came to America, there was like a language barrier. Trying to play sports, like not understanding the same language your coach is speaking even, you know? One of my first practices was like, coach was yelling at me, and I didn't understand it. My mom was like, he doesn't speak English. <laughs> My first year was like, we, we, we would have to draw the plays up. So like they would draw it up, wow. so like, you know, and that's how I would do it. Did sports help you find a sense of community? It did. Like a lot of those guys, like, they might not understand you, but guess what? It's, there's that brotherhood still. Mm -hmm. There's that, you know, sense of purpose. There's that sense of, like, you know, family. Why Michigan? My parents were diehard Michigan fans. You know, my mom grew up in Suckatuck. We would watch Michigan games. We would watch the Will Peppers play. Like, I, I, when I first came here, I wanted to wear five because the Will Peppers wore five. When you get here, what was your impression and your experience in those early days? My first, uh, when I first stepped on the campus, I thought it was freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, it probably was. <laughs> it was freezing cold. I came in the winter time. That, oh man, I'm like, mom, you told me it's gonna be like Tennessee weather. This is, dude, I see snow on the ground. <laughs> I know this to be true from watching your tape and it's confirmed now talking to you. The heart, the play oh, yeah. with the heart. Like, oh, yeah. the, the, the refusal to be denied. Oh yeah. And that led to a freshman All-American season, right? You wasted mm -hmm. no time popping mm -hmm. off. With me, it's like, I love the game, you know? I take the game very seriously. I take it to a very high level. I have so much love and trust for the game that I'm always gonna give it my utmost respect, you know? Cause like that, the game owes you nothing. The game owes you nothing. You can work hard. That doesn't guarantee you anything, but no. maybe an opportunity. Maybe an and opportunity. And then it's your chance to do with that opportunity. Yeah. If you get an opportunity, you gotta take it and run with it. I got my opportunity and I just, I ran with it. You know, it was like, yeah. once, I, once I got this, I'm not giving it up. You said Jabril's a big reason you came here. You looked up to Hutch, yeah. Ross, Ojabo. You know, you stand on the shoulders of those that came before you, right? How do you match that standard? It's as high as it's been in a long time here in Ann Arbor. We put higher expectations on ourselves than the media put on us. Mm -hmm. You know, we have so much expectations for ourselves, so much belief. So I think that's what's going to carry us into next Big Ten Championship. But that's not all we want, you know? We want it all. Like, that, that's, that's our mindset. We want it all this year. Our mentality is like one game at a time, one moment at a time, one day at a time. So like every week is like, make that the best day mm -hmm. of your year so far. Yeah. Until, you know, until it's all said and done, and then we're gonna be where we need to be at the end of the year. Well, let me let me ask you this. 110,000, just about 110,000 in the stadium last night. When, when you're driving the bus over, do you see the tailgate? I mean, we're, oh, yeah. we're in the ultimate tailgate machine oh, right yeah. here. I mean, oh, yeah. I've seen Look a couple this. of these outside, yeah? <laughs> you see them everywhere. Like, you know, they're, they're parked out at every spot. They always got, you know, the big trucks out there, the big family guys, the barbecue out there. It's fun. Been a pleasure, brother. Hey, awesome, pleasure, man. Yes, awesome to talk to you. Yes, sir.